Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn the practical skills that are required to perform the prone knee bend test. The test tests for the mechanical functions and mechanosensitivity of the mid lumbar nerve roots that is the L2, L3, L4 as well as the functions of the femoral nerve. A physiotherapist can choose to perform the prone knee bend test in patients who complain of low back pain, pain in the groin and hip region as well as pain in the anterior thigh and anterior knee region. Now as the name suggests that is prone knee bend test it simply involves making the patient assume the prone line position and then taking the knee joint into the flexion range. Now it is not as simple as it looks because here the therapist intends to rule out the involvement of the nervous system in the production of the patient's response. So before we start the test we ensure that both the hips remain in the neutral position and the lower limbs remain parallel to one another. Now it is interesting to understand what actually happens with the prone knee flexion or bending movement. Now prone knee bend test is a classical example where the therapist moves or stretches the innervated tissue that is the quadriceps muscle in order to add tension to the femoral nerve that is the neural component. So when the therapist bends the knee into flexion it not only adds tension to the femoral nerve but also it stretches the quadriceps muscle and because of this we see that the pelvis goes into relatively anterior tilting and as the pelvis tilts anteriorly we can see an increase in the lumbar lordosis with this movement. So the real challenge during the performance of the prone knee band test is that if at all it reproduces the patient's response how to be sure whether it is from the neural structures or it is from the musculoskeletal structures because while performing this movement we are moving both. So prone knee band test should ideally be performed in three steps to rule out the involvement of the nervous system. So step one is to simply bend the knee into flexion and look for the reproduction of the patient's response. Now if step one increases the patient's pain then we have to move towards step two to find out whether the pain is neural or non-neural. Now please remember that as we have discussed before bending the knee into flexion is moving both the neural structures and musculoskeletal structures. Therefore, it is important that we move on to the step 2. For step 2, the therapist is going to place the cephalid hand over the sacrum and is going to stabilize the pelvis by adding a anterior pressure. And the same prone knee bend maneuver is going to be performed again. And this time, if the patient's pain symptoms are again reproduced or further increased, then we can conclude that it is coming from the neural structures. Now the step 3 is to simply add pressure to the sacrum anteriorly in the neutral position and look for whether adding the pressure over the musculoskeletal structures reproduces the patient's pain. So if adding pressure over the pelvis and sacrum does not increase the patient's pain or reproduces it then the therapist is confirmed that the symptom of the patient is neural. So these were the important practical points that are needed to be considered during the performance of the prone knee bend test. The test can be further sensitized by adding the hip extension movement to the prone knee bend maneuver. I sincerely hope that the information shared in this video is going to be helpful for you all. See you all in our next video. Till then, keep learning, keep sharing and stay connected.